Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Last we left off, we had just gotten into the epilogue of, uh, of Chapter 3, I believe this was, which was Glitz Pit. And now we're gonna go ahead and continue with this, so here we go. With the help of the lovely Miss Jolene, Mario revealed Brubba's true identity. Uh, I turned off my controller, because it's wireless. And acquired the third Crystal Star by defeating the monstrous Macho Grubba. Grubba had used the power of the Crystal Star to run his power-draining machine. What other hidden powers might these strange and mystical items possess? Save all game progress? No. It takes too long. I'd rather move along, like I told you to. I don't know why that song is stuck in my head. Uh, but recently I've been reading a lot of stories, a lot of web novels, Japanese web novels that have been translated. It's about the weebest thing I can think of, but uh, oh, here it comes. Here we go. Beldum, tell me, what good are you? You still haven't taken care of that Mario character. Well, yes, yeah, sorry, but only because he's tougher than we thought at first. You do understand that we ex nots must open the door first, do you not? <laughs> well, rest assured that I will definitely nail him next time. We have prepared a weapon that will bring him to a quick and certain end. I trust your words, though I rapidly lose my patience. Just leave it to us, sire. <laughs> Let's away, my lovelies, Marilyn, Vivian. Alrighty. Oh, uh, tee hee hee. I don't know. Yeah, I've been reading a lot of novels that uh, are very, like, depressing, which is kind of weird. Um, no doubt about it. I'm officially bored. Those awful X things haven't been back to ask about the map. I wonder, is it safe? I wish I could do a girl voice. That sounds kind of weird of a, of a thing I wish I could do, but whatever. Oh my, I must be DC again. I, I probably just wish I had that range. It's so nice the way girls have that nice upper range. Um, for the most part though, I've been reading a lot of depressing uh, web novels, um, which are the precursor to, night, to light novels to those who read like Japanese translated stuff brought to America. Um, Hello, Princess Peach. You always call me in without warning, TEC. What is it this time? I apologize. I would like you to go to where Sir Grotus is and ask him something. What? What do you mean, go ask? I recently obtained specific information that brought an issue to my attention. You are the main... Or, oh, whoops. <laughs> you are the main computer here, right? Why is there anything you don't know? I am unable to know things that are not entered in my CPU or otherwise recorded. That is why I want to know what Sir Grotus is thinking about this issue. But even if I try to go see him, they'll catch me and send me back to the room. That is true, but you will find a soldier's room one floor up. Take the elevator. Once there, please obtain a soldier's uniform and change into it. Avoiding detection. You will go see Sir Grotus looking like a soldier. You mean I'll be disguised? Huh. I imagine you won't take no for an answer, will you? Oh wow, she has a really sassy face on there. You, you imagine, imagine correctly. correctly. Alright, fine, I guess. Well, so, what do you want me to go ask this Grotus? I will tell you. And the viewer will not see. Okay, I guess. What in the world is TEC thinking? I mean, honestly, it sure is a weird computer. Um, here we go. Oh, sweet. Okay, the elevator's up now. Oh, is that the elevator he wanted me to go in? Sweet, here we are. Here I come to save the day. Save the day. But as I've been saying, I've been reading a lot of um, uh, web novels. And as I said, there. Please wait just a moment. There are currently soldiers in the vicinity. Huh? Oh. There they go. Um. And I'm gonna presume the door's, door opens automatically? Now, Princess Peach, it's the room with the green lamp very near where you disembark the elevator. I presume I have to go the opposite direction? So this place, here we are. Come on, I just want to be done with this. I want to get back to the action. Please change here, quickly. The soldier's uniform should be in a locker. I'm gonna presume this one. This one. 
Uh, this one. This one. No, I'm not that stupid. I just wanted to see if there was anything else in here. Hmm? Oh, is this the uniform? Am I supposed to wear this ugly thing? Yes, yes that, that is correct. correct. Here we go. Oh, sweet. Oh, man. This is like... Ugh. Oof. I don't know about this. It's awfully tight and it kind of smells a bit. God, that's kind of gross. Yeah, who knows how, but I got into it. I can barely breathe, though. Oh, this is freaking hilarious. I bet I look perfect. Or I guess her voice changes, too. There's probably, like, some sort of voice modulator in that. Um, uh-oh. There's a guy here. Wonder what happened. Hey, slacker. What part of do not leave your post don't you understand, huh? Hmm? What? Come again? Oh, are you on your break? Well, fine. Carry on. Sweet. I kind of like the sound they make when they walk. Um. Oh, sweet. Straight to the point. Uh, excuse, <clears throat> excuse me, Gr Sir Gratis. Yes, what is it? Speak. Oh, uh, well, it's about Princess Peach. What do you plan to do with her going forward? Hmm, something is wrong with your voice, Hexnot. Gold. Perhaps I have a throat lozenge? No, well, never mind. Oh, about Princess Peach. I have no interest in what that woman has to say. Just keep her locked in the room. But don't ever, ever treat her roughly. You understand? Tell the others as well. But, uh, <clears throat> why is in the world are we keeping her here? That's none of your business. Don't forget your place, you impudent worm. Concentrate on getting the legendary treasure. That is all I require of you. We ex nots need that treasure to conquer the world. Don't forget it. Conquer the world? Legendary treasure? What are you blathering about now? Hmm. Something is odd about you. N no, nothing odd. Uh, so, oh, Roger or whatever, P please excuse me. Okay, I should have shouldn't have given made her voice so deep or whatever. Oh, that was unnerving. All that stuff about conquering the world. Talk about creepy. I wonder if that has anything to do with collecting those crystal stars. Okay, now we get changed. Every uh, child voyeur's dream off with this thing. Um, this probably awakens some kid's fetish, and I don't mean that in some weird like sexual way, but I mean like. Some kid was like, I want to know what's going on behind that curtain. Ooh, good old pink dress, my favorite. Why would I ever wear anything different? I'd better get back quickly. That's gross. You should change up your wardrobe sometime. Hopefully she has multiples of the same dress and it's not actually just the same dress. How <laughs> hilarious would that should be? She just wears the same dress. TC, you terrible machine. So your goal's to conquer the world, is it? Of course, after all, I was built for that purpose. Conquering the world, how could you? Princess Peach, allow me to ask you something. Do you like the world you live in? There are many problems in the world, many sorrows. Do you like such a world? Of course I do. Nobody likes everything about the world, but I love the good parts. There are many sorrows, sure, but there's also joy. Is that so? Tell me, will the crystal stars help you conquer the world? And what's this treasure? I am afraid I cannot answer. Answering those questions is prohibited by Sir Grotus. Well, but... Oh, never mind. I must at least inform Mario about this awful plan for world domination. Do you see? Let me use your communicator. Silence. <laughs> he said nothing. I suppose I can allow that. Please use the communicator. Um, yeah, like I was saying, I was just, I just, uh, whatever. Send it this instant. Oh, my voice cracked. I can't do a girl's voice. The message has been sent. Well then, Princess Peach, you have had a busy day. Go back to the room, please. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I, I, I don't know how I'm able to do that voice without hurting my throat. It's really weird. It's not all that high-pitched, but it's close enough for me to feel good about it. Good night, Princess Peach. Um, I've been reading a lot of depressing stuff. I don't know, I'm really into books that have, like, that, um, that have the, uh, the protagonist get betrayed. Like, that's just the most interesting thing in the world for me. It's Bowser, isn't it? Oh, no. Uh, okay, just a lot of epilogue, I guess, for this episode. 
Um, oh, it's b, -b, -b bowser that, that thing's humongous. Everybody, hide! Now, save yourselves! <laughs> They're adorable. Don't get training Mario. Who would have thought that fool would be in Glitzville? Did you say something, your rudeness? Uh, n no, nothing at all, as far as you know. Hey, did you see those little bite-sized shrimps? What were those things? Those were some punies. One of them should know about the crystal star. They fear you, so they're all hiding. Let's find them all and get the info we need. Oh, sweet, so I can... Yeah, yeah, yikes. This guy's big and bad. He's large and in charge. Oh, they're all hiding behind the bushes. Eek, flee. <laughs> this is funny. Eek, you're scary, Mr. Giant Bad Breath Monster. Don't worry, Petunia, your big brother's here. We'll get through this together. Can I burn the bushes? No, okay. Okay, let's see. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get stopped by someone at some point. Oh, here we go. We gone! Uh, wait, what? She didn't say that. You're one of them, aren't you? One of the evil, or, oh. <laughs> I accidentally gave the old lady a, a voice, a really deep voice. Oh, one of them, aren't you? One of the evil doers. You want our crystal star? Huh? See? I knew it. This ugly thing knows where the crystal star is. Tell us. How rude. Ugly thing? How dare you, you wretched crone? I'm the great puny elder. Heep. My heart. Don't startle me like that. I'm too old for this. You're both too old, huh? Tag versus hag. Awesome. Wow, Bowser. You are really smooth with the ladies. <laughs> um... Uh, yes, Lord Bowser, you look as if you're just dying to say something. Uh, nope, nothing. Let's move on, shall we? You Elder Hag thing, where's the crystal star? And don't try pulling rank again. Your answer, not your age, will be will determine your fate. Huh. Hag thing, honestly, in any case, you're too late. The crystal star is gone. Ha, uh, what? That's right, you rude thing. We gave it to a mustachioed man named Martio. Said he was collecting legendary treasures to rescue some princess. What did he call her? Princess Pinch? Yep, he was out to save that lucky lass. It's Mario, not Martio, and it's not Princess Pinch. Her name is Princess Peach. But your senility is beside the point the princess and treasure must be connected. Mario's trying to get it all. Treasures, princesses, to see his greed never end. That jackal. Both Princess Peach and the Crystal Stars belong to me. To me! If I find him, I'm going to finish him off once and for all. I swear it. Okay, is that it? Okay, there was just an awkward moment there. Okay, so I guess this episode is just going to be epilogue. No, I don't want to save. Jesus Christ, this... Thought I could get some gameplay or a little bit of progress at least. Jeez. And because it's all an epilogue, I haven't been able to talk about how I've been reading. Oh, here we go. Here we go again. Yes, I've been reading here in my garage. So now he must leave. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah dude. Definitely. I understand if you must. You must. We won't delay you. I hope you succeed in finding the rest of the crystal stars. Good luck. Gonzalez. Or, oh, whoops. <laughs> wrong voice. Gonzalez, I want to tell you. Rock Hawk ain't gonna fight dirty anymore. I'm gonna hit the weights, take some vitamins, and win the title fair and square. And I'm never, ever gonna lose again. Remember, when life rocks you, rock back. Listen, G- Hey, listen, G-Money. Thanks for everything, man. That's the voice I should've given him. I don't know why I didn't give him that voice. You're the nicest dude I ever met. If you ever need it, I got your back, I see. Me, I think I'm gonna chill here and improve my skills. King K's back, baby. And it's all thanks to you, dog. You're my boy, Mario. Now that Grub is out of the picture, I'm going to take over running the Glitz Pit. If you ever decide to return to the ring, just come back. I'll keep your spot open. You have tons of fans, and they'd absolutely love it if you made a comeback. Anyway, think it over, okay? And travel safe. I accidentally gave her Alma's voice. Of course, anybody who's watching this and hasn't watched uh, Valhalla, or VA11 Hall A, um... They don't know who Alma is. <laughs> yes, we have three crystal stars now. We're rolling. Let's head back to Rogueport, Mario. All right, now we have to go back to that thing. I guess we'll cut to that. I'm not too sure. I kind of feel bad if I end it here, so I'll do a few more things. Uh, yeah, let's head back to Rogueport. Okay, uh, I'll see you guys there. Okay, here we are. Ooh, I like this ringtone. It's so different from the, from the Mystery Man X or whatever. Mario, hear that noise? That's totally an email from Princess Peach. 
All right, let's answer it. Okay, well, I guess we'll continue from here while I head back and I'll talk about my reading or whatever. Dearest Mario, I have uncovered something terrible. These things, the Exonauts, they're planning to take control of the world. It's to that end that they're searching for the Crystal Stars. I still don't know what the Crystal Stars do, but you must try to get them all. I will gather what information I can. Princess Peach. What? They want to rule the world? That does not sound like a friendly plan. Alright, tell you guys what, you know what, whatever. I'll end it here for now. We'll make our way to the Thousand Year Door next time. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye!